so we're just coming into Quatera uh, and it's a very big moment for me. This is my dad's hometown and I've come here pretty much every summer since I was little. To have sailed all the way from Norway down here ourselves is so big. I'm so happy. Mum and Dad is here at the moment so they're going to come and meet us. But I'm very excited. Welcome on board. Thanks, Nicole and Sam. It's the best restaurant in Villamo, this. Cheers. Cheers. What do you call this here, Papa? What? What is this in Portuguese? Lulas. What is it? Hmm? What is it? What is Lulas? What is it? Lulas? Yeah. Lulas. Yeah, what is it? Squid. Squid. Squid, yeah. What is it in Norsk? Det er and the test is different. What do you know, speed? Oof, I think it's cooked. Nice. It smells good. Chili and So we're going to stay in the area for quite some time, uh, about a month maybe. Uh, Sam's gone back to work for a few weeks, so I'm just going to hang out on the boat and explore the area. I've got mum and dad close by so I can use dad's car, which is good. And got a little, a few little boat jobs on my list that I need to complete. And then in about a month when Sam's back, we will have a new crew member joining us. And we'll have some bigger boat jobs to complete to get the boat set up for the Atlantic crossing later this year. The Algarve coast of Portugal is such a beautiful place and I've, I have spent a lot of time here growing up, uh, but mostly around the area where my dad's from. So I'm really excited to go and check out some other spots where I haven't been. And uh, it looks like there's so many gems around here. I'm currently up in the mountains, about 40 minutes from Portimao, up in a place called Monique, Monique, Monique. I'm not sure how you say it, but it's really nice up here. It is apparently one of the greenest places in Portugal. We have the city center. It's just down here. You can see the, almost see the square just there. So I'm gonna head down there and have a look. So we have a water leak on the boat. 
We just noticed that the bilge pump started going off at random times and um, yeah we had a look in the bilges and there's some water here. It's fresh water luckily, I tasted it, so it's not coming from the outside of the boat. I've had a good look around the water pump which we've had troubles with before. I had a look in the shower in the stern, the outside shower, which we also have had a problem with in the past and I'm gonna have to have a bit of a crawl around on the boat to figure out where this water is coming from. So we've got the water pump just here and I've just checked under the water pump and it's all pretty dry there. So this area here is all dry. There's water. And yeah, it's all dry under that hot water tank too. So there is actually a bit of water up in the front hair of the boat. Could mean that it's actually coming from the front somewhere. Could also be just because the boat's moving around, I don't know. I'll keep looking. So this is just under the galley sink and yeah, everything looks pretty dry here. But like if there was a leak here, the water would go under the floorboards here and I can't actually, like I can't even access there. This is not a very pleasant sight when you open the floorboard and you see heaps of water around one of your through holes. Yeah, but we know it's fresh water, so it's it's just kind of through yeah, through from the from the other bilges. But the fact that there's water all the way up here could indicate that the leak is coming from up here somewhere. It's all dry in here. Another possibility is it could be coming from the drainage in here. Yep, yeah, we need to unscrew this then to have a look. Maybe it's one of the connections. If it is coming from there, that could explain why there's water coming out of here. It's kind of come up to the front too. But the water's, like the boat's leaning backwards, so I guess that's why you would find the most amount of more water here. I've just pulled this up now and I don't know if you can see this on camera but this connection here is actually on pretty loose and there's water around it. Just filled this with water. I've just turned the sink on but there's water dripping straight down to the bilges. Hopefully this is the connection that's caused the leak. Filthy in here clean um, I've just taken the hose clamps off and there is actually like a little bit of a crack just like here so I've given the bilges a good clean out and I've screwed the drain pump back on there's tiny bits of water still seeping through but I'll try to get most of it up here I found a creative solution to stop the little bits that are still coming through. Bam. I should have been a plumber. <laughs> 